trying to get the habitat objective to match the sediment transport and stability objectives. Every watershed, every stream has its history. And in a lot of cases, people start out by straightening out a couple of bends to make room for a road or something. And once they straighten out the bends, they find the river doesn't really want to stay within those banks. It starts working on one bank or the other, so people armor. And if they didn't armor both banks to begin with, you know, let's say they armor here, then next thing you know, they need to also armor here. Before you know it, the river is shooting through this area even faster than ever because it has less resistance from the banks and it has no place to go with all that newfound energy than to dig down in the channel bed. Let's say you straighten a river to make it more convenient for a road. The river is going to become steeper and more powerful. The river is going to start to erode its bed in the upstream direction. As it erodes its bed, it's also going to start to erode its banks. All this sediment is going to then move downstream and start to build up in the bars and the meanders. The meander is going to become very wide and unstable. If you get a storm through this reach, uh, it's going to start erosion on both banks, making it even more wide and even more unstable. And oftentimes what we see is the river uh, during a storm event will come down and cut right through these meanders that have built up. Uh, We've got another straightened reach, and the whole process starts all over again with that instability propagating upstream and then downstream again. That channel is constantly trying to find a new steady equilibrium state in response to those changes. And the change process the stream goes through is very uncomfortable to us. It's not good for habitats, not good for water quality, and it causes even more problems in terms of instability. One of the things that we're trying to learn